Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Yeah, we are try, live. Try not to swear for the first 90 seconds. From Los Angeles, California. Because there's something about YouTube's algorithm. There is. There's that, something about YouTube's algorithm that's in the first 90 seconds, you can't say any swear words. Yeah, Giorgio, let us know when it's been 90 seconds. I am chomping at the bit. Yeah, for I want to say seconds. stuff so badly. Oh, I, I got stuff to say. I got stuff to say. In the meantime, what I will say is this our special guest today is Birdsaw, uh, one of my favorite musicians on the planet. He does the Drinking Broettes theme song. Oh, yeah, and uh, Tiffany is not here with us today. Um, Why? Eh, she's what? Was she jumping out of planes or something? Yeah, she's either jumping out of planes or uh, teaching people survival shit in the woods. Yeah, oh. she does cool military shit. So I think shit is oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, she's still in, right? I think shit's okay for the first ninety seconds, but the f word is not. Oh, it's not. Okay. Yeah. So all. are we at yeah, ninety so seconds? We'll stay yet? away from that. We Giorgio? can't say the f word at all. Are we at ninety seconds? Not fuck! Close. Fuck! Shit. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Sorry. Oh, fuck. I just ruined Giorgio's hearing for the rest of his life. Ah, um, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, welcome. What are you doing in LA? Are you recording? Yeah, actually doing some new shit. No shit. So the first, the the the, fir- the the last EP isn't even out yet, but it doesn't stop. You know, we just keep it going. We just keep going. You have to during the quarantine. There's nothing better to fucking do. Nothing. And yeah. so here's my prediction on all this shit. And tell me if I'm wrong on this. By the end of this quarantine, every fucking musician should have a goddamn new album out that is the best Seriously. thing of all time. Because they haven't been touring. You don't have to deal with uh, record labels or meetings or any of that bullshit. Because of COVID, everybody wants you to practice six feet and, and everything else. Um, there is no reason why people shouldn't be writing their best shit right now. That's literally exactly how I feel, too. But then I feel like a lot of people are just getting super lazy and just fucking streaming video games. Just using it as an excuse? Are you talking about Danny? Because no, he's doing Twitch streaming video games. He did just start doing that, though. Did he really? Did you hear him? He just <laughs> yeah. called out Danny Warsop on the fucking show. Yeah. Danny, you're a we'll piece of shit. Danny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What's he Who doing? Is though. he playing Call of Duty? Yeah. He's actually... His, his channel is a little weird. Is it? Yeah. That's not surprising. No, he's a weird guy. He's a weird guy. Yeah. We're all weird. fucking weird guys. Yeah. Last, time, last time you and I hung out, we, we spent a good... Hour talking about circumcision. Yeah, cirked. Yeah, Research, yeah. Cirked. Cirked yeah. and researched. Cirked. It's um, a book like Crime and Punishment, but it's actually, cirked and researched. <laughs> you're actually in my phone as Ross so cirked. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows that about me that I got cirked at birth. And um, you know, it's it's a source of pride, obviously. Um, that I was on day one. I'm a day one cirque homie, right? Because yeah. there's a lot of people now, including my two children. Um, that are day two homies. Usually really? they have the kids stay alive for like an hour and then they, I mean like a day, and then they go and circ them the next day. What, so they don't waste I the circumcision know. just in case the kid dies the first day? Or I what is guess, it? Yes, man. Yeah. So you've got to get it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's all these rules about getting circed. And so you got to sign all these waivers. Wait, and there's rules. Shit. Yes. And so what uh, happens is after they get circed, they give them this medicine or medication, obviously. And the kid is out for like 10 hours. So while the child is sleeping, you're like, oh, man, I've got the easiest baby in the world. Mm. It'll never cry. This baby's so good. And then they wake up from being circumcised, mm. and it's fucking bulls on parade. They hate you. <laughs> they hate everybody I've got two, around you. I've got two questions. One, yeah. does do the parents get that same medication? Yeah. I think the, that would the, be The women do, for sure. They get juiced okay. up with it. So you get one of those clackers. You just yeah, click yeah. it off like every yep. three Question drops two. of morphine. Question two is, uh, do you keep the skin? Uh, yes. I, well, oh I would love God. to. Make a necklace or something? Yeah. So here's the thing. I and then at their fucking, their first date shows up, like the first time a date ever shows up to yeah. the house, and you're like, oh, this? Oh, this is just, uh, this is, you know, Jax's foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> so on the last child that was born, uh, Jagger was his name. Um, I'm obviously a huge music fan. Stones are my favorite. Yep. Um, I asked the doc, I go, because he came back up, and he was just like, Baby did great, it's resting peacefully, all those shit. And I was like, awesome, man. I was like, so did you save that Cirque? <laughs> and he was like, I'm sorry? I, d- I don't see, you know, he didn't understand Wait, or whatever. And I was it's like, it's a schmuck then, right? Yeah, so I go, hey, man, I, I-, I want that skin. I paid for it. Because um, you have to pay an extra fee, like on top of the thing, and they'll to bill you for it. throw it away? And so, no, not to throw it away, but to get circumcised. So I was like, hey, man, I paid the fee. So I want this. Well, skin. you can't pay and not take the fucking skin, dude. That's what I said. Break. I want the skin. Yeah. And he was mm. like, 
He was like, oh, we, we don't typically do that. And I was like, what am I going to put in a stew? <laughs> and, and I did full straight face during the whole thing. This guy was freaked the fuck out, this doctor. I don't, why? The there are women who like eat, literally eat their own fucking placenta after, she, after they have children. In Canada, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. The UK, I think it's big too. I mean, that's a real thing. Why can't I eat my child's foreskin? I don't yeah, understand. Just it's not still attached to his body. There are moils in fucking Brooklyn yeah. that have been giving babies herpes because they have herpes and they bite moils? the goddamn foreskin moils, off. Yeah. A, a, moil? a moil is a... Uh, is I'm going to ask a lot of questions, by the way. Go ahead. A, a moil is a thing in the Jewish religion or maybe just the Hebrew culture, and they're the ones that perform the circumcision. So yeah. It's a person. I'm more yeah, yeah, a yeah. Person. There's a professional yeah. cert profession. guy. Okay. Uh, yeah. I believe it's called a bris, right? In the a bris is what it's called when you get it chopped, yeah. But yeah, there yeah. are some of those. So they just hang out and touch baby dicks. Basically, yeah. Well, no, because when you're in Jewish, it's like you're 13, right? No. What? No, you no. do it as a baby? Fuck? Yeah. Could you imagine? I thought you did it when you were 13. No, that's when you get uh, whatever the fuck bar mitzvah and become a man. That's the rite of passage to manhood. I thought becoming a man was losing that circumcision. No, that's the skin. covenant. Oh, it is. Yep. Do you call your circumcision the covenant? The, I call mine uh, the total package, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so I call my dick and balls the continental breakfast. I call mine the thickness, actually. My dick is It's sausage thickness. and two yeah. eggs, you know? I feel like I haven't named mine yet. What? what? You've by named your whole this, entire... By the end of the show, we're going to figure out... You're it literally out. a writer. Like, you don't have any excuse for not having named your dick and balls. I've written a lot of things, but I have... Yeah, I haven't really written about my dick and balls. Well, so let me ask you this. Is it tatted or is it pierced? Because looking at you right now, you look like a guy that's probably got a Prince Albert. I actually don't. Mm. What? Really? No, it's pretty I'm, fucking boring. Did I ever tell you? pause on that, though? Did something else happen down there? He's disappointed with himself for not having yeah. it, probably. He feels judged right now, would be my guess. <laughs> I'm definitely judging you right now. Yeah, I mean, you're you a rock star, for Christ's sakes. My, this guy I knew had a fucking dollar sign tattooed on the front of his bean bag, and we called him Money Bags. Yes. That's, that's a real thing. You can do that. You can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This do is you America. have anything tatted on your nuts? You can do whatever the fuck you want. No, I thought about it. I got though. a guy in L.A. Um, right on Sunset if you want to go, because you're going to Pasadena tonight. He can do it in about 20 if you want to go. For real? Yeah. We'll get some sack tats. I've always wanted to like get like a dollar or like a dollar bill on it, like a hundred dollar bill tattooed on it. On the nuts yeah, that's what I was just saying. Yeah. yeah, on the shaft. No, this is this dude when I it knew. It's hard like had. to watch your money grow or whatever. This dude, <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. I've, I've got the Declaration that, of Independence on my penis. The guy I knew had it on his like like on the front of his fucking coin purse, and we called him Money Bags. That's a great one. Yeah. There was that a guy. There was good. a listener. We did a live show. Um, where the fuck were we? I think uh, Colorado and not he, not the one on the crew. You're not talking about fucking uh, no 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 homeboy with the grizzly sack grizzly forge up. Lucas no. with his giant fucking beanbag. This was a listener who had had lost a ball, and so on the sack itself he got a tea bag. So he had a, a tea bag drawn on the the nut where his other where his nut was missing. We should do a uh, GoFundMe and get him. We should do a Go GoFundMe and get him a nudicle. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck's a nudicle? It's a fake testicle. Fake testicle, man. For real? Balances yeah. you out. Yeah. Can you imagine walking around with one nut missing out of your sack all day? You'd be fucking tipping over like you didn't have your say, V8. Yeah, Come on, man. Balance for sure. Yeah. There's no yeah, way. Have you, have you ever broken like your, your front toe or anything? Uh, Especially the big toe. Yeah, the yeah big you can't toe. walk, yeah. dude. When you, when you break your big toe, you can't really walk. That's where all your power comes from. Same with your ball sack. If you lose one of those, you're going to need to fill up the other side to balance everything out, mm -hmm. man. Oh, my God. You're yeah. You're thinking about everything right now. You should be. You should be thinking about everything. I tried right to now. stuff in some gravel in there, but didn't take. No, it never does. And it's sharp too, so it's like. We can't show labels, right? Can't oh, I know you show. No, you we've actually we've, show. we've actually done a show that was sponsored by White Claw. We talked about we had a clown porn sponsored lady. Sponsored by White Claw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for one show, and that's all. We of, did a live show in uh, that's Florida. That's all that'll ever happen with them, probably because that was it of the Holocaust jokes and the clown porn. <laughs> Within mostly. six <laughs> minutes, four clown Holocaust porn. jokes were <laughs> yeah, told. There was a there was a. There was a clown, yeah, a clown pornographer, uh, Miss Quinn is her name, if you're looking to look her up on the internet. Yes. Um, she does porn mostly wearing clown outfits. I got to search this shit. It's clown yeah. pornography, and here's the thing. Like, she'll fuck right herself now. with uh, balloon animals. So she'll go full clown. I mean, that's an like, important part of it. Yeah. Like, does yeah. she make the balloon animals, though? Like, yes. she got that down? Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. She'll, she'll make that whole shit. So she was on the show, and then, um, and then a guy who had just gotten out of prison for attempted murder. Yeah, uh, Nico. Nico. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of Amiri King's friends. And then we had, uh, oh, man, what's his name? Shit. I can't remember his name. The guy that's a sniper for Orlando 
SWAT team. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. Fuck's his name. I can't remember his name right now. Either way, great show. Fun times were had. Yeah, but there's never going to be another White Claw sponsored fucking drinking bros again. No, probably. no, I highly doubt that. Not if they heard about any of that. I highly shit doubt that, that. Are you trying to find this clown porn? Yeah, song? I'm typing in Quinn clown porn right uh, now. Miss Quinn. It's Miss what? Quinn. Go well, to Twitter. It's on I, Twitter. I would find it after the show. Like it'll take you a while. Because there's a bunch of Miss Quins. Apparently, yeah, that Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman show was pretty big. So, like, <laughs> good luck digging through all of those user yeah. handles. That's Jane Seymour, by the way. She's a distant relative of mine. Is it really? Yeah, my mom's maiden name is Seymour, and now you can get into my bank account. Yeah, look at that. Right? Way. Look at that. That's why, that's why they do that. Jared always calls these people out, by the way. They're like, they're these surveys on Facebook and shit. Like, mm-hmm. what's your fucking first pet's name? What's your fucking... It's the same questions for yeah. security questions at yeah. a bank, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. They're stealing your shit. Don't be an idiot. Uh, that's why I give wrong answers only. My first pet name uh, for whom? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Baby, honey. Maybe just answer the questions wrong. Sure, that's what you got to do. Sure. Um, what are you doing now that you're not touring? Nothing. Really? No, literally just hanging out and just like writing, pretty much. Like we were saying earlier, just like there's nothing better to fucking do. Yeah. So I feel like by the time touring starts, I should have like eight fucking albums done easily. <laughs> you know, like. I mean, if you're doing it like everybody else right now, it seems that even in the it, this has been a big thing in hip hop for a long time, but now. And I guess pop to some degree as well, but now even rock and metal people are are writing albums but releasing singles. Yeah, that's, you know what I mean. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever probably put out a full album. It'll probably yeah. Do, be do you think that's gone? Like, I'm I'm glad you brought that up. I just heard so Drake just dropped a couple singles the other day, right, with DJ yeah. Khaled, and it was strange because it was like, hey man. Between the other shit you've mm. put out, you it's like eighteen songs. Or yeah, something. you've had enough for or an no, album. Like eighteen was the album that he already did put out. Yeah, and then he's done like another eleven or something, or eleven or twelve since then. But I don't think what's the point of having an album? No one's. You know what I mean? Like nobody's buying again. CDs and shit. So what's the point of having that whole catalog, whatever you want to coordinate off as, as one individual unit? When, you, <laughs> well, when, when everything's fan, just streaming. As a fan, I'm a fan of the album experience yeah. where. There is a beginning, middle, and end, and it was something that the artist wanted to do. Um, but you know, as as a musician, it's as probably re- more beneficial if you just put out singles. Yeah, as, releasing wise, like singles is definitely the better way to go. But I mean, everybody will always have; they'll always put out albums, but they will do like, for instance, let's just say ten song album, whatever. Like you're gonna put out five or six singles before you drop that full album as like a package, so like fans could be they can get like a solid right album, or like they can get like. You know, like the the vinyls or whatever that they want to like yeah. actually hold on to and mm-hmm. stuff like that. They have mm-hmm. a whole package, but like, I mean, people's attention spans today like don't yeah. fucking don't. The reason they do it, I think, is because y- if you drop a full album, like people will fucking listen to it on repeat for fucking three right. weeks, and then they're fucking over it and they'll fucking yeah, yeah. throw it away. I, I think a better idea would be to uh, like stuff isn't just about the music anymore; it's about personality because of reality television and yeah. how that's yeah. Bl- yeah. like bled into all the other forms of media. I think a better idea would be to release a group of songs but have each one of the band members pr- like put out their own curated fucking uh, playlist from that group of music. You know well, what I mean? I, everybody's trying something different now and, and people have tried things like that. Because the Spotify that. playlist thing from celebrities that have nothing to do with music is huge. So yeah. coming from the band, like here's how I think you should listen to this album. That, I think that would be a really good promotion. Maybe. Like each person in the band. Maybe. Um, what are your thoughts on Post Malone, by the way? Uh, I think he's a genius, dude. I actually drink Bud Light seltzers now because of him instead of these things. Uh, everybody does. They're yeah. actually pretty good. They're great. Yeah. And my initials are on it. Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Boom. You're Around good to the go. Can, so I just feel a lot more important when I drink them. The reason why I ask, as far as albums are concerned, in yeah. the last two years, that guy has put out full albums that you can just put on in the background anywhere you are. And they're great from start to finish. Yeah. I would say, and I know that I'm going to get killed for this, um, but because I'm not a fan of hers, Taylor Swift the same way where it's just like, all right, those are albums worth listening to where you can just leave on in the background or whatever. Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Artists that can put out great full albums. I think here's what I mean by this. I don't think there is enough great artists who can put out a full album anymore that is great anymore. Maybe. I mean, look, but ha- has there ever been? By themselves. Like the, the phrase. Maybe. The That's f- a huge thing, though. The phrase like, B-side has been around for a very long time, right? Mm-hmm. And it generally refers to the B-side of the cassette tape, which is the songs that, you know, if you're a huge fan, you'll listen to. Right yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, that's been going on. I don't think that's anything new. We just now have the ability to circumvent that bullshit and release these singles. I still enjoy a full album, though. Like, I mean, shit. Again, but who can do it? Drake can do it. 
Drake can do Post it. Post Malone, Malone can, can do, do it. it. Taylor Swift. I mean, like in the pop do world. It. Chris Stapleton um, can put out a great full mm. album, uh, country-wise. But uh, I think there's a lot of. I'm that's kind of why like streaming platforms are so cool though, because like you yeah, can yeah. literally just go to an artist and start listening to their album and just fucking shuffle, and then you're just like listening to everything they do, like just mm. like an album, like you'd be listening to an album, you know. Well, you take Apple. I think one of their biggest things that they did um, is put Apple Essentials out. So whatever artist you type in, it has already built this Essentials album, so you can go through all of their catalog and it has kind of curated yeah. it for you. And it's every single artist. And uh, yeah, it's a really. I mean, I've, that's the first thing I did when I started using Apple Music was going, I downloaded like all of my favorite bands' essential albums. Essentially, I mean, it's it was the best because you had you have all the fucking top. 10 to 20 songs from every one of those bands right mm -hmm. there. It's uh, a good and idea. Then, and then the guy who's killing it singles wise, who's just dropping singles only, is that Takashi 69. That fucking guy, man. Don't even get me started. But dude. to be honest, he could drop anything and it would do well because of how much fucking, how many eyeballs are on him right now. Well, here's the thing I, f I fucking hate him. It's right? trash. So the music is terrible. Whoa. I think. Oh my God, dude. But look, yeah. the first one he dropped, beat wise, banger. And that's kind of what rap is, right? If the beat is good enough. Yeah. You're yeah. like, right, if I can work out to yeah. this or fucking shoot hoops, like I'm good. Yeah. I can't deal with his voice. It's the worst thing I've ever he heard. Sounds like a yeah. He sounds like a 13-year-old kid trying to be Eminem mm -hmm. in the, the 90s, like hard-voiced Eminem, like the angry, or the, the early 2000s, late 90s, version, right. where he was like starting to get the angry voice. Uh, Vincent Marcus will be doing that on the show tomorrow, actually. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, so, yeah, I, he, his voice is too much. Yeah, I can't. it's crazy. But then, so the reason I bring him up, the last single, because I look after he snitched on those people and got out of jail, I thought for sure everybody would be done with him. Nicki Minaj comes over to his fucking house. They shoot a goddamn video. They did a song. Because they're basically they're both their careers are done. And they're just like we should probably do something about this. I, I, I guess. So did you know that video was the most viewed video uh, in, in forty eight hours in, in YouTube history? Mm. Really? Yes. Have you seen the? She's buck naked in the goddamn thing. Have you seen thing. the um, talk over version of it? Yeah, yes, so funny. Dude. Holy I, shit. I was in fucking tears. That's dude. way better <laughs> than the like, real video. This is how I look at it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. This is literally how I look at this music. Yeah. So let me ask you this. <laughs> Sounds like is a fucking it all baby. a fucking troll then, this guy? Is what? Does he know he's shitty and is all of this a troll? I think you can start yeah, out that way. Gotta be. Right? You can start out that way, but just basic human psychology, you're going to start to think you're great at some point because so many people are fucking paying attention to you. That's just how your brain works. Yeah. Man, you're, like yeah. your Ed and Ego are going to fucking be I, at war. Right he's there. a guy that I, I genuinely can't figure it out. Either he's got it locked in of like, hey, man, I control the world and make a gajillion dollars, or he thinks, like Dan said, he's the greatest artist of all time. I'm 50-50 on it. You can toss. You can say the same me. thing about Kanye, though, right? Like his behavior, not just recently, but throughout his entire career, has been like very bizarre. Yeah. Like I can't tell if it's he's performance. Wild. He's either a genius and I that's performance he's a art, or he is very, I think very Kanye's disturbed. A genius. Yeah, so I do agree. I. He, I think he, he's like too. he's he planned this shit like for years. Like he knows exactly what he's doing. He has every step like. He's like I five don't. Steps ahead of I mean, he's doing. he he ran all those fucking like uh, <laughs> Sunday service bullshit for what like six months, and then all of a sudden puts out a Christian album, sells a gajillion records. Yeah. Like no. like this. I should just go Christian, to be honest. What's that? I should just go fake Christian. Just take wow, the last yeah, go you know, Creed. We, you know, we've had this discussion. You can be the next Scott Stapp. I bro. saw Scott Stapp at the fucking Minnesota Fair like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah breakdown. He wasn't playing. He was just one. hanging out there. It's the lead singer at Creed, by yeah, the way. He was just eating one of those big turkey legs. He wasn't actually playing the show Oof. or anything. He's just hanging great. out. He, he, stum he stumbled in. Fair. He lives. He lives like two blocks <laughs> down and under a bridge. So he just like stumbled in. <laughs> yeah. That was the last. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? Oh, he just takes a big bite out of the turkey. Of oh, the turkey leg. That was the last <laughs> era, though, of like, hey man, we're selling physical CDs. Yeah, I think he got was. paid. Scott him and Stout. him and Nickelback, they both made fucking right under the wire, yeah. billion dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Nickelback probably made ten times what he did. So let, let me ask I like you this. Nickelback. Whoa, whoa. I don't care. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. You repeat I, that? I, I love Nickelback. Are you, you fucking uh, serious? That's serious, dude. Can you look at this Giorgio, get him out of here. Photograph. Get him out of here. Yeah. <laughs> get, my, get my gun. I don't actually. know if I, I don't, I don't really like, okay, I don't like them, but I really enjoy whoever writes their hooks and their production. So it's, it's, it's catchy. Slams. It's, it's yeah. definitely, slams, it's definitely catchy, yeah. But it's like, it's so catchy that it's cringy. 
Like you can it's terrible. If you're a if, <laughs> if you're a it. casual observer, you would probably like it. Or if you're just somebody like you that re- that appreciates the artist behind the scene, but they definitely didn't write. I like their story songs. too. Like they they were a band for like what fucking fifteen years. Oh yeah, it was a long before time before they got their first they, record. Yeah, 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 they were a when band. Every other since band like d- they just give up after two years. You know, and they're just I, like ah, we're fucking done. We're I never think they were a idea. band since like eighty four. I, like, I appreciate or some them, shit you know? like that, like nineteen eighty four or nineteen eighty six or something. It's like old as fuck. I was born. And then he got married to Chad Kroger. Got married to Avril Lavigne. After she left, fucking dude from Sum Forty One, correct? Who was all just fucking weird looking? Derek dude. Weebly. Do you, is that yeah. his name? Yeah. Oh my god, he looks Weebly. Weird name to have, right? Do you, have you seen that photo of him, like? Oh yeah. Walking out of rehab or something, like with his like model girlfriend that's like four foot taller. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. looking shot. The whole thing, man, is it's bad. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Wait, isn't what there are, some theory that Avril Lavigne is dead? Yeah, and what? It's, it's been another girl. Living it's like her a Mandela for, effect kind of situation. Yep. People like been sp- or just no, no, no. Like in general? no. no she's dead, definitely she's fucking dead, and they've been using a body double for years. Yeah. But why? Name what is it? Lisa or who Carla the fuck? Or? Where did this theory come who, from? Red, I'm sure it was it was yeah. either Reddit. So welcome to drinking. It was either bros, Reddit dude. or 4chan. We'll it was you. one of the two. I like this. It's always Reddit or 4chan. I came into this whole situation like knowing that I'm probably gonna learn a lot of stuff. You know? Yeah, you are. I hate talking about like myself. So like, don't the whole guest thing. Like, I fuck it's whatever. I just want to hang out with you guys and be like, oh, this is neat. Yeah. Oh, cool. We're not only entertainers. We're we're also <laughs> teachers. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm more of like uh, a priest. That it, doesn't believe in religion. Truth, yeah, yeah. And I have a nonprofit, um, Fathers Without uh, Boundaries, and that's where I mentor like just sorority girls from like twenty to twenty-two. I was gonna wonder where you're going. Make with sure that, they yeah. stay on the yeah, right track. Yeah, so like it's that. a, I, that's very big. I'm very into I that. Can nonprofit. donate to this, or what is that? You can donate. Um, wow. or you, just, you can throw me your support, and uh, you know, if you get any screenshots, because I'm sure you get a lot, a lot of fans that send things in. Like, yeah, yeah. you know. If they're like, oh man, this girl looks like she doesn't have a father or has issues with her father. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So just if you, you whenever dead daddy's club or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. If you yeah. ever just uh, make it onto a college campus, walk into whatever I'm sorority you can find. Campuses. Are you really? Well, yeah. just walk into the it. sorority and be like, Arizona hey, state. Walk into the I'm sorority. To move the Mill Avenue, dude. Oh, boy. <laughs> were you? I'm, I am. <laughs> I'm trying to buy a house there. It's the well, best condo. You know, it's not, really it's not the worst idea. It's, it's the best, man. Walk into the sorority and say, hey, who has a good relationship with their father? Anybody that doesn't raise their hand, uh, say, come with me. <laughs> Send them and over then, my way. You know. And that's what I do. That's where I step in. Put them in a sh- <laughs> you just put them in you a know? shipping container, and he'll give you the address. Oh, the, yeah. oh I've got no. an account with Wayfair. We don't. <laughs> so all you need to do that is shit's fucking wild, dude. put them in a cabinet and ship them on out to Austin, Texas. I can't get my go. head around that. Wait for <laughs> Honestly, I, I can't tell I, if I don't know if I believe it. I can't tell if I should be paying more attention to that or not. Like it seems Ooh, like it's just tough. just with everything going on with Glenn Maxwell now and the, with the Epstein case going on, it seems like based on the evidence that's been leaked so far that there are a lot of fucking like business people, politicians, and and uh, like just rich people in general Buying in Hollywood particularly yeah. that are fucking super into pedophilia. Uh, pedophilia. Like it seems like there's a lot of people involved in this Hollywood bullshit. and politicians, man. And like I, I I'll so, say this: the the people that got nabbed in the first go round, yeah, with um, dude wise, right? As far as um, you mean, like Me Too or the pedophile shit, both. So uh, Kevin Spacey, it was a Me Too, but it was also a pedophile thing. Where it was he was like, seventeen, but that well, case no, 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 was no. stupid, right? It was the the first kid was Anthony Rapp. So Anthony Rapp is a big, huge actor. He was in Dazed and Confused, and he's. One. Which one was he in Days and Confused? Oh, he's a long haired kid, right? Yeah, the blonde, where it was just like uh, he was friends with. Um, he had the glasses. He was friends with. Uh, the nerdy Lincoln. guy. Hey, oh, I, yeah, I had this yeah, dream yeah, yeah. that I was with Abraham Lincoln. The one that like, gets in the fight at the and party. He, and the yeah, he was, a, he was yeah, friends. Best friend. He was yeah. friends with the guy that played the Hebrew hammer on that Comedy Central thing. Correct. What's his name? He, yeah. was in, he was in fucking Saving Private Goldberg. Ryan, too, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Adam what's Goldberg. What's Adam Goldberg is his real name? Yeah. Yeah. That guy's um, funny. Where but, but Anthony Rapp went on to do like Rent and all that shit on Broadway. Like he is a huge Broadway actor. Yeah. And so finally, his story was the first when he was like, I was 14 years old and then tells the story, right? Um, people knew about Kevin Spacey, but it was always, it seemed like, uh, his, was, his story was with Kevin Spacey? Yeah. Fuck. I'm Name, so what kind of kicked that whole thing let, off? Let's, let's pump the brakes here. Name yeah. me, in your opinion, the like the top fucking independent filmmaker ever uh the the very top so if we're going studio wise it was the wine scenes because they started that whole shit right um they did um reservoir dogs and pulp fiction and mm-hmm. everything so like 
That I'm, I'm talking about like an individual kicks person. Kicks off, right. So Because to me, it would be Woody Allen. Oh, uh, Woody Allen, independent-wise. Well, it's, it's sort of, because he's had the same financiers. When I say independent, yeah. I, independent is not the right word. I mean somebody who writes and stars in their own shit, yeah, yeah, I yeah. guess. So, so Woody Allen... Because he married his fucking his daughter. S- yeah, that he adopted. Who did? Years ago. Woody, Woody, Allen. Woody Allen. What the fuck? So yeah. he adopted... Dude, where have I been? He I adopted... Know, man. She was four years fly. old at the time when he yeah. first adopted yeah. her, or when, they, for, when he first hooked up with Homegirl, and uh, stayed with the, the wife for, what, like 15 years or something? It was Mia Farrow. Mia Farrow, yeah. Stayed with the wife for 15 years and then divorced her, or, or maybe they weren't married, I don't know, but left her and married the fucking 19-year-old daughter. Yes, the stepdaughter. And they've been married this whole time. The daughter was cool with that. Time. Well, they've, they've that's because he. For how many years? That's because he groomed her. It's yeah. fucking predatory bullshit. Like it, and, but that's wow. been okay in Hollywood for years. He still gets work. He still makes movies. He still wins awards. And what the fuck? Like they've clearly how been old okay. Is he he's like, fucking uh, he's got to be in the seventies at this point. Yeah. Right. I, and, how old is he? How old is a chick? <sighs> She's probably forties now. I, I, it's about, oh, it's about a thirty-year like age it's gap. A, it's a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fucking know. It's about a thirty-year age gap. Let's see. Woody Woody Allen's eighty-four. 84? And, yes. And I didn't know it was 84. Shit. And Soon Yi. Soon Yi. Is 49, I'm going to say. That, let me see. This. 49, yeah. Yeah, nailed it, dude. Yeah. Is there a picture of this? Who nails the Soon Yi part of that? That's not even worth it. <laughs> it's weird, right? It's not even hot. Um, but there's a bunch of pedophiles so he's in Hollywood. 30. There's a bunch of pedophiles, think, politicians. He's, he's, he's 35 like, years why, older than why, her. Why, like, why do you think. It's like a Hollywood and a politician thing. Like, why is it so? Is it you think it's just because they're in the spotlight and that's the only thing we see it and everything else is it's literally just I, I like that? I think there's two. I got two theories on this. I got two theories. The first one is you become rich, famous, and you fuck everything on the planet and then you become bored. So then you're like, all right, that's what I was saying. That's, the, anci- in that's the ancient shits. Rome theory. Right. Like, I'm so wealthy and uh, above the law, at least my own perception, that I can do whatever the fuck I want. Mm hmm. Why priests? Why priests, though? Uh, because celibacy. Like, they're required to be celibate, and dudes that want to fuck chicks don't go into that line of work for the most part. Right. So it just has a proclivity for... It has a high per, uh, percentage of, of people with sexual deviancy or just being gay, which is fine. Huh. If they just let the priest marry, then nobody would give a shit about this. Yeah. You would also broaden your talent pool by about uh, 1,000% or so. But hey, what are you going to do? My second theory is... Um, people who are gay or sexually repressed, like Lindsey Graham is a great one, right? He's getting fucking drilled for the politician. Uh, there is a, well, the people are calling it a rumor, but we can confirm this, like that he's been getting male prostitutes in Washington, mm-hmm. D.C. Uh, and, they, and he goes by the name of Lady G. And he's been getting male prostitutes forever. And that he's gay and he's paying for male prostitutes. Lindsey Graham, right? Correct. And it's one of those things to me with that... Where he's worried about coming out as gay because he's going to lose his seat wherever it is, South, South Carolina, Carolina, which is look the South is still South to the South, South to the South, right? And it's tough. Um, plus, he was military. Yeah, he was a JAG officer, like a uh, military legal counsel for thirty-five years in the Air Force Reserve, I believe. So a lot of this shit is closeted, and then therefore, when they finally go out and do things or whatever, like you know. The, the, the kids who are most susceptible to trying all that shit are mm. like 17 people who don't know if they're gay or they're just kind of figuring it out and everything else. And then it's, you know, so they just it's a slippery grab. slope, my man. Well, it gets Thanks. real slippery. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Around the around the back, <laughs> around the b hole. Yeah. 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 I don't have a problem with uh, politicians buying prostitutes, by the way. I mean, my favorite politician of all time, Jerry Springer, who was the mayor of Cincinnati. Correct. Uh, loved hookers, and he also it's what he got. He's what he got caught for. Well, that's because Wait, he wrote a Jerry Springer. Yeah, yeah, he was the mayor of Cincinnati, and he wrote a personal check to a, to hooker, a prostitute, and that was used to like, like the Jerry convic- Springer is like a different Jerry. Springer. No, no, the no, the Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer yeah, yeah. So I'm he so much today. <laughs> so Birdsall, this dude, is wow. he, lot, he writes a personal <laughs> check. He writes a personal check, name and address and phone number on the check to the to prostitute. a hooker. I don't know what he wrote in the memo line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you find that out? Sweet fuck. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the fuck. <laughs> but whatever, whatever it, was, it was, it was used in his fucking conviction for solicitation. Yeah. And then he left. And then he mayor. left and then did Springer. And here's the thing on Springer. Um, he got caught fucking all the guests. All of them? Oh, uh, dude. 
Not the dudes, probably. Well, not the dudes, but the girls. Uh, so, like, there was some wild chicks in there and whatever. And, like, there was... Especially at first when it was actually real people. Yeah. There was numerous stories. Yeah. That, that him Damn. and the crew and all that shit. Steve. And the producers. Yeah. They the were big Steve balls. Steve. It? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that they were all getting fucking blown backstage by these people and whatever. And it was like... And it was kind of a party. But why wouldn't you be doing that? That's what I say. So, to get him on the show, they would load him up full of booze. And then let him fight and all that shit. Well, <laughs> like, like the pre gaming for Springer. It's literally the best show ever. Yeah. <laughs> it, was so the greatest. Like, it was so intense that they used to booze all these people up in the green room. And then, you know, afterwards, Jerry would get his dick sucked. Um, you know, Steve would probably get an HJ. And it's then they would That's kind of how I write my songs. Mm. Like, I have I to, just, right? I literally just like get all, like, we just get booze up. And Steve kind of looks like Yul Brenner, too. Yeah. Doesn't he? Yeah. Yul Brenner was a noted fucking donk slayer. Yeah. Like, he was into it. Who? Yul Brenner. Jesus Christ. God damn. You need to, how you old need to are look you? up your... Bro. Yeah, how old are you? Are you from yourself? America? Or? It doesn't even matter anymore. I literally don't like... This, this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't do... Uh, I just don't pay attention to fucking like, current events and shit. I don't know. Well, Yul Brenner's so how, been never how do you write then? Off of like, life stories, basically. Like I said, like I usually just... I, I put myself into situations with like relationships where I'm just like, this is a terrible idea. Let me fuck this up real quick. Yeah. And then I'll go off and I'll cry. Then I'll fucking write a fucking song about how I hate this shit because she sucks. Wh- who is the last one? I don't know. Are you dating anybody now? No. I haven't really been dating anybody for like fucking years. Really? So just, yeah. She's been doing music? I like it that way. Yeah. It's better. Yeah, because I met you I in that. Akron, Ohio. Yeah. Last year. Um, you were playing drums, I think, for Danny, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which was fucking awesome. And then, you, uh, by the way, I don't think I ever told you this story. I told Dan this before we came on the air. Um, he, when Danny in mid show invite you to come up and sing a couple songs, and I went to go get booze, and Danny grabbed my arm and he goes, "Hey man, y- you can't go get booze. You got to see this fucking guy." And I was like, "Oh, all right." And he goes, "This guy's really talented." What a good. F- you know what he didn't know that is that you were gonna so be a year good. later talking shit about him for playing video games on Twitch. Yeah, Danny Worsnap. If yeah. he had known at the time, he probably wouldn't have fucking said Get off said Twitch, anything. you talented motherfucker. You're too <laughs> yeah, good for that, dude. Watching no, he's too not. good, no, Danny. Nobody's yes. too good for anything. Danny's <laughs> a dirtbag. Sh- Danny should have five <laughs> albums. By he the just end let of a shit. fucking cat give birth in his studio. It's true. Yeah. I mean, true. what the fuck, I'm man? I'm bummed I missed that. To be honest, I know. Well, I should have had a fucking. He called it though. He did. He did. He did. He called on the show. He's gonna come right here somewhere. He called on the show. He knew. But he grabbed my arm and he goes, "Hey, man, this guy is super fucking." And talented, you got to stay and watch this guy. And I was like, "Oh, all right, shit." So the two of us watched from right off the stage, watched you and play. And I was like, "Oh, fuck." Um, and when I heard that song, when I heard Instagram page or IG page, your, your song, yeah, I was like, "This is this sounds like a huge gigantic smash hit." And I go and I lean to Danny and I go, "Man, is this out? Like, is this got had this? I don't know if it was out then. Song blown up or it wasn't." And he goes, "No, dude. I, but I hear this guy's music and he's fucking insane." And I was like, "Oh, shit." Um, so I kind of knew after that, I was like, dude, you were going to be go on and do great things. But Danny was the one that who knew before anybody. And he goes, Hey man, you got to yeah, stay and watch this guy. He definitely fucking pulled the best friend card on that one for sure. Like I didn't, I've, ne- I've been a drummer my whole life. That's kind of how like that, how like my whole songwriting started. It was like, I, I was drumming for this band. I was drumming for that band. Like I was tour managing this band. I was doing that. And like, I was always like working for other people. You know what I'm saying? Like even mm-hmm. down to like drumming for Danny like I'm drumming for my best friend but that's his project that's like his baby it's like I don't have any product you know yeah so then we started I started like writing I was I've always been a writer though I've always written for every band I was in but I was a drummer so I was always behind the scenes I mean Don Henley started out the same yeah. right I mean that was kind of his deal and I started writing some songs with Danny and he literally just goes yo you should you should actually like front this and I was like uh, it's uncomfortable I don't really know how to do that and he's yeah. like no, you literally should do that so it's he recorded my first songs and then he goes oh yeah by the way I'm taking you on tour like you're gonna drum for me but you're, I'm putting you on stage every night too. I'm just like, I'm like uh. That's kind of his thing, isn't it? Like, all right, he, let's fucking hit the ground and just see what happens. And then, yeah, like when you like you saw like that was my first time ever playing in front of people. Was what you saw? No shit. Ever, ever. I had no idea. You were yeah. fucking great, and I was and like, that, like, dude. Yeah. But yeah, that that his plan fucking worked because that tour like pe- it caught people's attention. Mm-hmm. Like, who the fuck's this guy? You know. So that it's song, like a star is born, except for he didn't kill himself after. And he didn't fuck you. Well, no, it, they probably well, yeah. they probably fucked. Yeah. I didn't want to go that far, but now that you brought it up, they probably probably yeah. fucked a little I'm bit. I'm on the deeper. 
Do you, is there times where you drive home and, and the garage door opens? You wonder if Danny's hanging in there? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> oh, my God. That got super dark, didn't it? Nah, That's kind of Danny's. I really did. I, fucking, I love him, dude. He's seriously one of my best friends. That's kind of his he's, thing, though. He's he, fucking wild. Like, you never know. Fucking wild card, for sure. Yeah. He, yeah. Seem, he seems like he's, like, without any really real regard for himself. Like, he doesn't try to capitalize on it himself, but he tries to mentor and help people on the come up all the time. I don't know what it is about yeah, him. He's like, exactly I mean, he's just like a genuinely that. good dude, but I yeah. don't know why, like he's so, he seems really into fucking helping people up. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's like some, like maybe that's like one of the reasons we get along, but like that's, even when I was a kid, like I always wanted to like, I always, I always wanted to be successful to help to try, so I got to bring other people up. I've well, that, always been like that too. Like, yeah. Martin Luther King said you have two hands for a reason, one to pull yourself up and one to pull the next guy up with you. I like that. It's a good quote. It's one of my, like, the founding principles of my life. I think it's a good good way to live fucking, your life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's what I always notice in particular, because we're, we're live in L.A. today. We're in Hollywood. Like This is live? Yeah. yeah we're, we're on YouTube we're right, right now. now. Um, <sighs> there's no YouTube editing. So all that dude. shit you talked about, Danny, he's probably already seen no it. No editing, brother. You're this fucked. has already been live. You're, you're off the fucking will. Yeah. You're not on this will anymore. Yeah. Uh, but, I, I, but he Holly actually talked about this the other day, and the only thing I, <laughs> the only thing I asked for was cowboy. It's <laughs> 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 like, bro, I think it's a cowboy, man. I'm just that, well. <laughs> but Hollywood is one of those towns where everybody's out for themselves, and nobody helps anybody else. Problem is, it should be the opposite. It's just like politics. Y- yes, yeah. you should help everybody else because there's going to be times where you're not on top, and somebody else is doing cool shit, and you're like, oh the fuck. Why don't you come and jump on this show or jump in this movie or do this other thing? Well, think about all those guys that came up with Dennis Leary. Mm-hmm. Like they were all they did the Rogan thing way before Rogan ever existed. So they were like uh, doing cross promotion for shows oh, yeah. and all kinds of other shit and, and old traditional media, which was Touring way harder, and, which yeah. was way harder back then. Like Mario Cantone and fucking uh, and Dennis Leary and fucking what's his name? Lenny Clark and all those Lenny guys. Clark, yeah. uh, Adam Ferrara, all mm-hmm. those guys. Actually, uh, when they were at Emory University, uh, What's his name? The guy on the couch, Stephen uh, Wright, was with yes. him as well. All those guys like came together, and then you saw as Dennis was the one that took off. But every time he fucking started a new show, every single one of those guys was on his fucking show. And you, you know should. I mean? That's it's how. That's how it should always work. Yeah. That's man. how. Yeah. That's how it's still. People still do that shit nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, good. If you look at, especially here in Hollywood. Like if you look at artists like. Like Black Bear and like Machine Gun Kelly. Well, and, like, I think musicians are favorite. more a- apt to it, whereas. Mm. Actors and, and producers, they just don't, man. Because they see it it's as a zero sum game, I think. Oh, it's filthy. Fucking they see it as a zero sum game still, and that's not the case. Like, if anything, over the last year has been learned in Hollywood, especially, but in the media at large, is that you cannot make enough content, which means yeah. there isn't competition between you and another actor now. Right. It's competition between all of us and getting enough content out. We should all be working together on this shit. Yeah. Yep. The best shit you can possibly do. Because we've been going live every day since the pandemic started. Even in LA, I mean, fuck, I don't. I don't, know even, I don't even know what time it is. I know we're live, though, on YouTube um, for everybody. And it's just like, it's, hey, man, there'll uh, be a show out tonight. It goes back to that. Yeah, it's 5 o'clock Eastern. Oh, in Eastern? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, it's one of those things where, yeah, but most content wins. And you should always 100%. be given content. That's and why If your listeners are- or audience and, like, whoever wants it, like, do it. If you're truly great at your craft, there's no fucking reason you shouldn't be pounding out hits or shows or things all the time. Like, yeah. That's the way I feel about it, at least. I just I just need to like, I mean the way people are doing it nowadays are just they're like they're just getting on on each other's songs like they're bringing mm-hmm. their friends up like yo get on this song and then <clears> I mean hip hop's been doing song, that like, for fucking twenty five yeah, like years collabing yeah. everywhere everyone's like just helping each other out and it's just fucking it's so big now even on the last like ten years of CD hip hop right you still couldn't buy anybody's album without it having fifteen different featured artists on oh yeah it, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah I mean yeah. like every single album that came out that did well was like fucking this song featuring this these three fucking people. You know what I mean? There was no independent songs anymore. They got it right on that one. They did, And that's yeah. why I think that hip-hop blew up in digital media before anybody else, like SoundCloud and fucking Spotify and all that shit. Mm-hmm. They've been selling their records over there. Even independent kids that are recording shit like fucking uh, oh, Dre well, used to in his mom's goddamn basement. Master P and all yeah, those guys. Yeah, they all started out like Young that. Young Money. Yeah. They were doing all that shit. And you can now, these days Master especially, you can, you can make your fucking nut doing that. That's yeah. not even a starting point anymore. That's your fucking goal for a yeah, lot of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Especially sure. Especially based on what you were saying, like the single release strategy. I mean, that's oh, the yeah. fucking best place to do it. I mean, it all comes back to the, the whole like most content wins idea. Yeah. You know, like 
Because if you don't keep putting shit out, people, att their attention spans are just going to forget about you immediately. Yeah. yeah, and they're waiting for your new shit. Um, speaking of new shit, we're going to talk about your new song. Uh, we got some sponsors that would pay for this whole fucking shit wagon to be on the air. First and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Finest mattress in the biz. If you were a member of the military, if you were a first responder, if you were a teacher or you work in the government, um, you can get 30% off a mattress right now. And everything, every single thing in the store, sheets, pillows, adjustable bases, you name it, uh, you are good to go. 30% off on that. If you're a regular dumb, dumb civilian like myself, you get 25% out of everything. Uh, you can get a mattress. Um, you get two free pillows with it if you buy that mattress. Um, and as always, at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros, all of the deals that I mentioned above are applicable um, with uh, the 36 month no interest pay as you go program. So, boom, you go on there, dial up all your shit, and then say, hey, man, I want, I want a 36 month. Uh, no interest program, and that, that'll be knocked down to like 30 bucks a month. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we got killcliffcbd.com. Best in the biz, man. I wish we had it here. We didn't I know, know what Airbnb we were going to stay at. I know. I'm I look glad like I'm I on casting couch. I way. actually almost decided to ship a case out here, and I'm glad we didn't because our first Airbnb was a fucking nightmare. We had to get out of there. Well, there's no AC. There's no AC yet. Actually, the place was kind of cool. And it was the weird place shit. was cool, but like... How? In LA, I yeah, in the know. summertime. The and they didn't put that out. in the listing. I, I feel like in LA, in Southern California, if you don't have fucking uh, AC and you're renting your place out in the summertime, you should notate that in the listing. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. That's what I think. That's this place think. is pretty cool, though. We had to split the difference on that split the diff fee uh, when I talked to Airbnb. Either way, we were not able to ship out some Kill Cliff CBD yep. uh, to our place. It is the best. 25 milligrams of CBD in every can. They got mango, orange kush, grape. Um, all of the flavors are grape. There is no THC in them, so you will not piss hot. Kill Cliff is the only name you can trust in this space. Go to killcliffcbd.com today and hop on that shit. Next up, we got getroman.com forward slash drinking bros. Use any boner pills, uh, Aaron? I have. They're fucking fun. They're a blast, right? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Roman's the shit. Have you used Roman? No. Discreet package, online doctor. So you don't have, have to go some? in. I'm fucking so down. Yeah, I'll yes. give you some. You just got some here? Relying yeah, 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 I've got yeah. some. Yeah. Yeah. Stoked. Get Roman.com like forward slash drinking bros. Dude, no doctor visit, literally. And they ship you in this like little blue package so you don't know what they are. So your wife, kids, nobody knows what it is. And you just pop fucking boner pills all day. Dude, I brag about that shit. That's fun. I never do that. <laughs> You, guys you don't need real. erectile dysfunction. Dude. Yeah, you can just some. get a recreational like, boner to party. Take a photo like, and promote it for him? Or, like, how of you your dick, that? you mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, get that dollar sign tattooed on it first. But yeah. First. Okay. Or you can get GetRoman.com that tattooed uh, down the link to your shaft. That's actually yeah, yeah. not a bad idea. Yeah, it'd be fucking rad, dude. Uh, so go to GetRoman.com forward slash drinking bros today. Free doctor visit. Free shipping. That shit's there in like 48 hours. It'll be fucking in no time. Nice. Um, big. You want big people to be of afraid of it. Yeah. Like when you whip your dick out, the last thing you want to hear is awe. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hear like, oh shit. Oh no. Why is it it's the skin's fuck. too tight? Why is Why it so is it? hard? You want to hear anger of like fuck. <laughs> like, oh, that, deal with that. That that anime sound when when the guy pulls his it fucking so sword angry. out of his <laughs> That sound, that's what you want to fucking hear. That's what you want to hear. Like you want to go be like oh, And you want to be able to see yes. your reflection yeah. in your fucking in your dome. It, sure. You wanted to be like a like a girl just walked into the like to CrossFit and she saw the wad for the day and was like, God damn it, that's gonna be tough. I'm You're like bummed five we Murphs. We didn't talk about this before because like I would have rocked one of those before we even fucking came on here. You should. Oh, we both dude. took them. Like, yeah, that's we why we've been going like this. I'm this all whole wooded time. up right now. Yeah. You guys are fucking. Cheaters. I got the belts. I got it tucked underneath my belt right now. As we <laughs> speak, mm. man. Speaking of that, we had a good idea. Um, GetRoman.com forward slash Drinker Bros. By the way, yes, uh, we had a good idea for the plane. So Giorgio, our engineer, mm -hmm. uh, decided to pound off on the plane yesterday. No so way. While we were flying from, it was the, the Charlotte to you, you LAX successful? flight. Yeah, so he took his... So he, Charlotte to LAX is about four and a half hours. It's 423, yeah, yeah, in the area. Does count as a mile high? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. well, no, it's like... No, it's actually it's, it's technically five miles high. You put a finger in your butthole, you said? Yeah, I guess. There's penetration. Yeah. There's penny. Yeah. If you go penny, I think it counts, yeah. No matter oh, who gets penetrated. Yeah. Anyways, so he goes up to the front of the plane. He's got his fucking phone. He bought the Wi-Fi so he could watch porn. Uh, so it was a phone. You didn't take a laptop. Well, see, there. here's my idea. 
Here's yeah. my idea. I say, uh, yeah. I say you get your full laptop out, have it under your arm, and then you ask the flight attendant for a blanket mm-hmm. and some lotion yeah, yep. dude, and, one of those, and one of those seatbelt extenders. Yeah. So you can... And you know, <laughs> tie that around your neck. If you hook it up to the back of the door, you can yeah. lean. You can lean forward, and luckily, there's not enough room in there for you to completely die. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, like you, you can, can do the bang whole on thing. The door, and somebody's gonna let you out. Yeah, so just, if you're gonna just strangle, start, babe, just start kicking on the door like this. And yeah, you're good. You don't even need a spotter because the the bathrooms are so small, and the yeah. flight attendants are basically sitting up there because they're not serving anybody yeah. right now. So you're good. You just kick on that door a couple times as you're passing out. They'll come in there, fucking put the AED on you, and you can wake back up. You ever s bait? Strangle bait. Uh, strangle bait? Just no, I, no. Put a belt I, around your neck or? No, I haven't. Some form of chain? There's some, like I said, there's so many things I'm learning on this show that I'm going to have to like take like, try. I feel like you should have known about strangle baiting. Yeah. I, I know mean, about it. I've seen it. Didn't one dude die? Fuck David Carradine. Well, a bunch of people have died, at least yeah, in NXS. Yeah. Yeah, NXS. Uh, I mean, I'm down to like get close to death and figure it out, but whatever. Yeah, what's the crazy shit you've for, done? I'm literally down for whatever, dude. I'm sure on tour you've done some fucked up shit. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I know for a fact I have, like, a lot of fucking weird things, but, like, I don't remember anything. I'm just you would so, remember like, that if you, out, if you like, choked yourself on the back of a doorknob, right? Oh, no, no, I haven't, like, done that, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have, like, shit stories and stuff, but, like... Really? You yeah. were the girl? I don't know. What do you mean by shit whoa, stories? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean yeah. you don't know? Did you buy like, like you a really, up? he brought a really nice glass table with roller wheels on it. And, and if girl passes on the floor, you just roll it over and she wakes up to your butthole opening up and poop coming out. Yeah. Technically, there's nothing illegal about no. that. No. you haven't made contact with yeah, her. Yeah, you didn't get contact on yeah. her. But she it's saw It's called it. a Cleveland steamer. No, that's when you get your, uh, get a, uh, uh, a is shit. that a Cleveland steamer? No, uh, Cleveland steamer's on the chest. So that, that mm. is that's touching your What's skin. What's the one when you're sitting? It's like a blumpkin or something. Blumpkin, yeah. Where you a get your dick sucked where you're taking the toilet. Yeah. But yeah. Um, what's if you're going uh, on a coffee that. table glass? No, that's where you. Ch- oh, I don't know. No. Look, what look, is it? Look up. You like her asshole? I think it's called oh, the yeah. Folgers because it's the best part of waking up. Yeah, could be. There's Folgers in your cup. So if you go across that that glass coffee table. It's called the Folgers. We actually came like up with that. one called the Reverse 69. It's when two dudes eat each other's asses at the same time. Correct. So you have to be going, going in down, like a but circle. But you got to go downhill. Well, I mean, you're going to roll downhill because of the configuration of your bodies. Yes. For sure. Yeah. Reverse 69. Yeah. So it's like this is back and like ass. Bend. There's a mouth here and there's back and ass over here. Correct. Too. It's two dudes forming a circle eating each other's asses. Come on, man. You got to be able to visualize What was one this. of the weirdest things you've ever done? On uh, tour, you have to get it all, though. Oh, my God, dude. I like Because you guys are in those little tiny bunk beds on those tour buses. like. Yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, like, I, I fucking can't think of anything on the spot right now. I'm so lame. Birdsaw, this, I is, know, this, this is, bad. is fucking You bad, could just dude. make bad. something up, probably. Yeah. I probably could. That shit story is basically, it, yeah, I mean, that Who's was on shit? tour. Who's shit in the bed, by the way? That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, it was really fucking weird. Like, it was after a show. It's a conspiracy, probably. Uh-huh. It's kind of, I mean, it's Let's get to the bottom of it. Yeah. We do a thing on RPR called Crime so Corner. It's, it was after a show corner. somewhere in this fucking planet uh, at a bar with some friends. And this, this dude just like leaves his girlfriend at the bar. And I just felt bad because like she didn't have a phone or something. And I was like, what the fuck? I don't have a phone. That's kind of weird in general. And I was like, I guess you can just like come back with us to fucking, you know, the bus or whatever. Yeah. For now, since we have like a day, I think it was like a day off or something. That's why that was cool. And then kind of sounds like this is all set up. Yeah. Some yeah. dude leaves her there does, without dude. a fucking phone. But then you know yeah, I mean? on the so we leave the bar and on the way back, like she's literally singing like all of my band's songs at that time. So I was like, oh, this chick's a fucking super fan. This is gonna be easy as yeah. fuck. <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Uh, long story short, woke up middle of the night, fucking like felt something like in the bunk, like it was fucking weird. And I was just like, what? The oh hell, man, dude? on the tour bus? Yeah, oh, it was no. just like it was in there because she was like laying somewhere. Over Her there. poop was in there. So you said, I don't really know what it was, but like, so I'm like sleeping, like, I fucking grab this. I was like, what the fuck are these crumbs, dude? And it was like in my sleep, I'm like, fucking shit or something. So I just like kind of threw it like off onto the floor, dude. I swear to God. Well, like you're you're hammered. You have no idea, whatever. I know where I'm at. She probably doesn't really know where she's at because she was like blacked out too. Yeah. So it came to a point where like I got up finally. And I was like, what the fuck is that, dude? Like, and like I lift the covers up and there's just shit 
everywhere. Mm. And I just like turned the light on. I was like, oh my God, dude, like there's shit like smeared on the walls. Whoa. There's fucking, there's sh- What do you mean hand, smeared hand on the prints? walls? Like caveman paintings and yeah, shit? Like bro. what the fuck? Yeah. Little like, stick no figures joke. in a sun. There was like shit smeared on the fucking wall. Like I can't, I, I can't make this up. I know you're like, you should make some up. No, 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 not at all. Up. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my God, dude, what the fuck? And I looked down on the floor and there's a full human pile of shit right on the fucking floor and i'm like all right so maybe she was a golgothan shit demon like from dogma yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But right. i have no idea but i woke up there's crumbs i fucking woke up again there's shit on the walls and there's a full pile of shit on the floor and i'm like uh i'm just gonna avoid <laughs> how awkward this is completely and i just like cleaned it all up while she was passed out still you cleaned up all the shit and cleaned all the shit off the floor threw it in the back threw it up by the stairs mm. And then no this was on a this was on a bus. No way I Dude, would clean up I that can't shit. Fucking make this, up. this is on a bus. Yeah. And then I fucking sat. I, I didn't go back into the bunk. I just sat up front in the lounge, and I was like, I just sat there, just like, like this is fucked up. This is so weird. And then she gets down. I was trying to avoid the whole like awkwardness, you know. Yeah. And she gets down. She's like putting her shoes on and shit, and uh, she just goes, "What was all that stuff in the bed?" And I just go, "I think it was shit." Yeah, it was shit. It was a lot of shit. It was everywhere. Like, there was shit everywhere. Like, I couldn't, like, hold it in. I didn't know what to fucking say. Wait, then, you, so you, you took the blame for it? No, I didn't fucking... I, I was just like... You said, I shit? Yeah. No. I, when he no, said, I, when I, he say, said I, I couldn't hold I it in. <laughs> I didn't say, there I was shit. shit. I said, it yeah. was shit. Okay. Like, basically... And my theory is, my theory is, if I were to wake up on there, I know where the fuck I'm at. Yeah. Like, I'd, I've never once in my life shit the fucking bed or just, like, woken up and not know where I'm at to, like, oh, I'm going to go to the fucking bathroom. I'm going to walk off the bus into the hotel and fucking take a shit. Like, yeah. whatever. I know where I'm at. I'm in my comfort zone. She doesn't know where she's at. We're fucking both blacked out. That you makes know what sense, I'm yeah. So, like, in my head... Like, I'm I would never shit on the floor in a place that I was familiar with. I would never with. shit in my No matter bed. how fucking <laughs> drunk or high or whatever the fuck I am. You just... Yeah, exactly. You can be There's fucking no blacked out. Like, yeah. I'll still wake up and I'll fucking know where I'm at and I'll go to the bathroom. It's like never if you been a wake up, my entire life. I don't know why it would be now. Yeah. yeah. If you wake up in, like, a warehouse... Yeah. Maybe, exactly. like, a Wayfair warehouse, for example. So this, this yeah. Find yourself inside of a cabinet and you sneak yeah, out. Yeah, You're yeah, probably yeah. going to shit on the floor. Probably. Because you don't know what the fuck's going no, you on. You got to shit on. somewhere, and it's not your property, so who cares? So this chick's boyfriend calls. Oh. Oh, boy. Wow, this is getting deep. And then, <laughs> well, she calls, and... Uh, Do you shit on my girlfriend, dude? Like, yeah. I just wanted you to fuck her. Right? Exactly. <laughs> is that how it went? That's probably how the call went. Basically, but he calls, and I was like, yo, you got to come get this chick, dude. Like, you got to come get your girl or whatever. I was, And I was like, D- D- does she, like, do... Like, does she have, like, problems when she drinks and... Like we're just think like just gross things happen like well she drinks and blacked out or whatever and he's like no I don't know what you're talking about I was like yeah don't worry about it he knows exactly don't worry about it no way so he comes he picks her up whatever and like the ex, whole situation so this is the ex boyfriend right yeah and the whole situation well I think they were dating at the time but I think they broke up like you know five hours before that or something but stupid. does he know you fucked her or what was yeah. the okay he does yeah I think he's like that was his up? plan how do you not know yeah, yeah she's on my fucking she's on the bus at like you know it's like she's getting picked up the next morning yeah yeah yeah. Doesn't, I would yeah. I wouldn't pick anybody she up is, from that shit. Absolutely, you should be done with that chick. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, yes, yes. Like, absolutely, get rid of that chick. Yes. But yeah, so he came. He, he didn't. He didn't know what to talk about. I was like, yeah, whatever. Just don't worry about what I was saying. And then she, he came, picked her up, and uh, I just kind of ignored the whole situation. But then, like later that day, yeah, I like farted. And it smelled just like that shit. This, oh. is, this is a real, <laughs> dude, this but, is a real mystery. But I mean, you guys, we could have been eating the same stuff that yeah. night too. Like I don't know, we were drinking the same shit. I feel like uh, we need to get Benedict. I shouldn't be saying all this stuff. How big was the shit live. though? Like, you said you a tell if it's a girl shit or a dude shit in the toilet. I don't know. Have yes. you ever? You, you haven't had. Tell. You haven't had a female child. Neither have I, obviously. But I have. Two. Well, I had a female niece, and I had another one with my ex. It was a female, right? I think sure. my sex appeal little, is gone. Little fucking baby girls just dump out like crazy, dude. So it's. I imagine like you just don't want to picture your wife dumping out. No, that's it. Uh, here's the thing: because like, I've got plenty of video of that if you want to see it. But yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, I allow out. it. I've, I license it to Dan. Like, yeah, it's, it's all it's, on the up. It's and contracts. Up. I mean, it's it yeah, is what it is. yeah. But nice. there, she dumps out like a champ too. Jesse, come on, dude. No. So I like huge dumps. <laughs> look. There, there's, there is occasions where, look, you've been married long enough or whatever, been with somebody forever. Jesse and I, fuck, man, it's probably about 10 years at this point. No, none of that, right? But there is friends of ours who have said, hey, 
um, I dated so and so, and fuck, someone was dating Ronda Rousey. We won't say who it was. But they said the reason why the breakup with Ronda Rousey was she was taking human man shits, like with the door open. And it was so is like, that a deal breaker for you? Yes. If a girl takes shits too big, because I don't even want to. Is that a deal breaker for you? It is no, for me. No, I don't want to. That that is the one area of my life that I allow cognitive dissonance to come in. I pretend that women don't shit. I've been spoiled. But what if you see it? I will never see it. Yes. But what, what, what if they forget it and you walk in there and it's just I've like, never mm-hmm. walked out of a bathroom without flushing my own shit. You down. haven't. But here's the thing. You spend 10 years with somebody, right? Yeah. Eventually, you're going to see their shit. That is just inevitable. No, it's uh, not. On accident or whatever. It could be the middle of the night. No. 10 years? 10 years. You're going to see man. it. I would probably. You've never seen a girl shit? Somebody you've dated? Yeah. a lot. Of, I've seen a lot of chicks shit. But like girls I've dated, I feel like I've been spoiled to the point where like. I date girls that literally make me believe that they don't shit. Right. They don't. Well, that's they, why they you, like they probably hurt all day long. Yeah. Just to act like they don't have to take a fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. They walk down. They walk down, like, they walk like down like to the McDonald's. Chicks, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I date. It's they walk down to the whatever, McDonald's a couple blocks down and poop they don't in their shit. bathroom. They made me believe it. Or they're <laughs> shitting on somebody's tour bus overnight. Yeah. Then you have to you know deal with that. I mean, I also wouldn't date that chick. I should yeah. As long as she's pooping something. somewhere else, I don't care what else. If she's, she's doing. clean about it, like, hey man, I'm gonna use the bathroom and be polite about it. What I can't Shh. figure out is when you saw all this shit on the floor, dude, did it seem bad. like a dude or did it seem like a girl shit? Well, what you just said about the whole Ronda Rousey thing, you don't fucking know. You don't well, know, but I was this girl. You gotta what get, was her size? You gotta get Dexter involved because that's a good point. Her size. You have to look at the splatter pattern of the poop to tell how far it dropped. Correct, yes. Then you can get the. Did it look like it fell off? It looked like a fucking like the emoji, the shit emoji. It was so perfectly stacked. Like fucking soft serve ice cream. I would lean towards girl then. Yeah, because they're a lot more neat than we are. Yes, I would just pop mine. (laughs) Mine just (laughs) plop out. (laughs) Yeah, because if it wasn't apple milkshake, right? Where it's just like, all right, because apple apple milkshake. So the apple comes out (laughs) first, and then it's a (laughs) milkshake afterwards. If it's not that, and if it's a neat shit like that, I'd go girl. Yeah, I agree. I'd go girl on this but one. But that's where, like, the whole, like, fart later in the day, same. Oh, but if it's the same scent, yeah. Kind of it's a mind yeah. fuck, yeah. God damn everything it, else man. leads. Everything else leads to her, except for that one last fucking little detail. That last little duke. I tell you what, they just started remaking Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. I've watched it, all of them. I'd love to add this one to it. I you really think? would, man. Who do we, didn't that guy die though? Who? Who do we hit up? The guy, the voice. Oh yeah, well he's dead, but Netflix remade it and they're just doing it. So mm. same type of fucking sitch with that. But uh, yeah, man, because I, if you smelled it later on in the day, I'm gonna lean towards that girl. And if it was a neat shit, I'm gonna lean towards that girl. It was neat. Yeah. Soft serve is a good example. Because you don't yeah, soft serve. You don't like, like a soft serve guy. Don't think I ever have. No, there's no yeah. way. No, I've never coiled out like that. Mine are just fucking, just like it looks like cow shit. Just like yeah. giant amounts of shit coming yeah. out. Yeah. Like just gravity won't allow it to maintain that shit. Right. That, that shape. A lot of weight. Yeah. There's density to my poops. Giant I only dogs. eat protein. Have you ever thought about reaching in and grabbing it just to see what the, the weight is on a turd? I have. Oh, you don't weigh yourself you before it? and after taking a shit? No. Did you grab it? You can never like drop something in there. And you're like, oh, fuck. Does no. So my, a buddy in college of mine, he went in because he was like, he dropped a fucking Thor's hammer in there in the toilet. And he was like, I got to know. I got to know how heavy this is. You know? See what I'm dealing with here. That's why every time before I shit, I weigh myself. I'm not kidding. Every single time, I weigh myself first. No. And then afterwards? And then after, yeah. And then to see what it was. Yep. So homeboy, he grabbed in and grabbed, you know, full Duke by the, by the thing. And uh, he was like, I was surprised. It, he goes, it's lighter than I thought. But he goes, the density was, it was pretty dense. Like he goes, because he smashed it afterwards in his fingers. Like he smashed huh. it. Does he want to know what the density was like? And he goes, I thought it would be a little tougher. And he goes, it wasn't. It just went right through my hand. But That's weird. Yeah. He must have not been eating like pistachios or anything or something. No, but he's a big a high protein guy, you know. I don't know. You weigh yourself, so you're saying that you take over a pound shits. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I eat like I only not only, but primary, I would say ninety five percent of my diet is fat and protein. Hmm. Like I don't eat many carbs at yeah. all. I like I like I I switch between carnivore and some version of that. I eat like steaks and burgers and bacon, like and that's it. I don't eat any bread or any of that bullshit. You know, there's not a lot of water. You're gonna beach that dump, obviously. Yeah, it's gonna be a Normandy dump. 
Sports. And you know, you can you can train for it too. Yeah. High protein, high fiber, right? Yeah. Enough fat so that it stays fucking nice and lubricated down there in your bee hole area and you can just crank out turrets, man. Yeah, and you're good to go. Yeah. yeah. There's Popcorn nothing worse when it's like a I marker. I mean, what else you, you your ass was like a marker on a fucking toilet paper. It's something like, to take up the rest of the day between doing drugs and writing for you, I mean. Yeah. Like yeah. this what else are you gonna do? Drink, do drugs and write songs. You gotta that's like what, six hours out of the day you can maybe do that? Active, at like active work. It was gotta, a guy. In, it was a guy in college who used to take a, a photo of his shit every day, and he he. Uh, it was one of those baby books. So he bought one of those baby books mm. from like Hobby Lobby. Like, and those were his kids, and he would name it. And he'd be like, "This is Henry, eight eight ounces." You know, no four. way. You oh, run yeah. out of names too fast. It's too much. That's why yes. I like rate my poo. No it was way. basically hot or not, but for turds. You ever see that? Yeah, you remember rate my poo? Rate my poo dot com was like hot or not that so original website thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There were people would take and you would rate the shits. You could, you could rate your own shit. Size, though. structure, coloration, all that stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I really miss? I don't know if you guys Tub know girl, this probably. because of the, the, it's a music industry, uh, industry thing, but uh, is anyone up? Do you remember you remember that? No, what's any, what, what is that? Holy shit. That thing was fucking wild. Is this like Backpage.net? It was basically like, so, God, I, the, the owner got fucking sued by like literally everybody. Um, it was basically... Uh, Band dudes sending fucking dick photos and band sluts posting these dudes, these band dudes like dick photos and, yeah. vi- and vice versa. And then, I don't know, man. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like. Did you ever blast your dick out? No, I was never. I was never actually on it. I was never actually on it. But You like, just looked at dicks all day. Yeah. Which well, is fine. We're not no, judging like, so you. So like, um. They'll have like this girl's MySpace fucking name or something, oh. and then it's like all of her nude photos. Oh yeah, I've seen those collages. All these yeah, yeah. Dudes, and they're all yeah. just like fuck this chick, and they fucking post it, and they all talk about it. Yeah. Terrible, terrible fucking site. It's like Bobby. Marines United. Remember that? Yeah, I mean, mm. like I said, I do got sued numerous times, but for just defamation in general. But like terrible, but super fucking entertaining. And then they'll have a thing where it's like um, it'll be like a list of these band whores. Like it'd be like this band whore, fucking Stephanie. And like her roster of the dudes and bands that she slept with and shit. And it was just like an Instagram feed. So you just like scroll through this feed and be like, oh, this this chick's nudes. Oh, this is this chick's roster. Oh, this is Pete Wentz from Fall Out Boy's dick that he sent I this chick. Really? Like, I, like I shit love like this. that. How like, is his dick? How is Pete Wentz's dick? I don't I don't Small. remember looking at it. I love this, by Probably. the way, and let me tell you why. Yeah. One, everybody's doing what they want to do in this situation, right? If you're a ban- if you're a uh, a groupie and that's like what you want to do, you want to go out and bang, like you want to spend your twenties banging dudes and bands. Yeah, like then you should fucking do that. Why would you not do it? Do it right. Just get all your other life shit done in the meantime, but and try not to shit on tour buses and stuff. Obviously. But for the Seriously. most part, go out and do that. And if you're a band member traveling around, now you have a fucking Rolodex. Instead of wasting time or corrupting some girl that isn't already corrupted, just get one of these like sluts. And I don't mean that in a bad way. No, I, like a slut who wants to be a slut is fine. Yeah, do what you want to do. This is a win-win situation for I me. I don't sluts. know about sharing the nudes part. That's kind of a violation of privacy. But if the girls consented to having the nudes posted like that, I think that would be great. That's like a fucking did, digital right? Rolodex. Huh? Yeah. I mean, if they're posting the dudes' dick pics, like, and and everybody's cool with it, then why not? Yeah, that, that's exactly. yeah. it's basically like fucking. Uh, what's that cheating website? From back in the day? Ah, uh, fuck. I know you're talking about, yeah. Uh, Ashley Madison. Yeah. Ashley Madison. That's yeah. it. Yeah, it's like that, essentially. Yeah. But it's like a pornographic version that's specific, uh, specific to the music industry. Why would you not do that? Man, we learned a lot here today. Yeah, it was, great, it was a great site. Lived a yeah. lot. Learned a lot. Yeah. Loved a lot. We loved a lot, too. Yeah. Uh, at this point in the show, we get to the drinking bro of the week. That's someone who has inspired you or helps you become the man you are today. Who would you like to give the drinking bro of the week to? Oh, my God. Drinking bro of the week. So somebody that's inspired me. Yeah, dude. Like I mean, I'm or just helped you or whatever. I'm just helped you. I'm I'm literally just gonna say, Danny. Yeah. He's been he's been one of my, Danny Warsnop for everybody who's listening. Yeah. He's he's just been like, you know, one of my best friends for like fucking years, and like he literally, I've helped him when he was when he was down. Like, he fucking pushed me to like do what I'm doing now, and it's like. I don't know. Like he's just helped me the most, and I think he's just 
an all around fucking gangster. At yeah, everything he is. That he he, does. he he's and, a great person. He and Victoria. He's, like, he's one of the best per- like people like ever. He is really. Yeah. yeah. He and Victoria are both like the nicest human beings. I'm so glad that they got together. Yeah. Because they're like two of the, the nicest people. Yeah. They're I've like two of the gen- most too. genuine and nicest people I've ever met in my fucking life. It's yeah. like it's like goals when it, when it comes to, whenever yeah. I hang out with them. I'm looking at them. It's like even when it comes down to like I see them like starting to like fight or something. You know like. The way I watch them just like work it out, just like this is mm. how I feel. This is how I feel. And it's like, oh, yeah. I understand that. And it's like, fuck, man, this is like a whole new world. You yeah, know? It, would, like, it would make a great rea- it would make a great reality show, except for people don't like it when other people get along well. So yeah. I don't know how it would go. Exactly. Like it would be a good like ten minute reality show. If you're in a great relationship, you can figure what are those? out ways to fuck exactly. But you can figure out ways of like, hey man. I know you're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Let's try to figure out this problem and get past it. Um, it's the other relationships that you're not in where you're, that's where fucking shit. Well, you can't have one party acting like they have nothing to lose. Correct. In a situation. And that's yeah. why uh, with every, like the political turmoil that's going on right now, mm-hmm. if we all just agreed that what we want is a stable America that's great and equal for everyone, e- equality of, of opportunity, not of outcome, by the way, which is a huge difference. We'll get into that on a different show. But if you could just all agree to that, that we're all going towards the same goal. We're playing tug of war. We're all on the same side of the rope. Yeah. If we're pulling from different sides of the rope, we're fucked. And it's the same. It, what he's mm-hmm. talking about is the same with relationships, and that's the way it should be. Yeah. Um, that's the way his is. This is what mine is, at least. And uh, you know, gotten through the last nine years, ten years with relative ease, and uh, it's great. It's great. Um, so is your new song, by the way. Um, tell everybody the the audience the name of your new song. I believe it drops on Friday. Yeah, this Friday yeah. actually. It's uh, it's called Selfish. It's um, it's it, I mean, it's it's basically about kind of what we've been talking about. Like um, I uh, like I got to the point where like somebody was like, "Yo, you need to do your own product and you need to focus on yourself." So I fucking did it, and I pissed off a lot of people in the process. Yeah, aka girls. Mm-hmm. They were kind of really pissed. I would never, you know, like. Basically, they put in a, like a lot of attention and a lot of work, and I, I'm always just like focused on myself, and no one around me understands why they don't get it. So this, yeah, it's called Selfish. Basically, about me just like focusing and doing my own thing for a straight year on this new on this new album that's coming out. So, and when's the new album coming out? Um, it's all gonna be singles. It all starts off in singles. So this single will come out on Friday. Okay. And then three weeks. That's the 24th, right? Yep. Yep. And then three weeks, the, the next one will come out. And then two or three weeks, the next one will come out. And then... How many of these you got music then, videos for? Uh, two. Two, okay. okay. The first two. We're sh- we should be hopefully shooting for at least a couple more, too. Yeah, yeah, four yeah. or five, yeah, but for right, sure. As of right now, yeah. And you've got... S- and Selfish is one of them. When's that video going to come out? That's on Friday. Oh, cool. The oh, single will come yeah, out, dude. the song will come out, and the single should come out, the nice. s- or the video should come out the same day. Great. And where can they tell everybody where they can find all this shit on social media? Uh, social media. I mean, you can get the, you can pre-save the link. Actually, if you just go to my my uh, my Instagram, my MySpace, dude. Jesus yeah. Christ, yeah, you guys, you'd be on my top eight. He's in a time yeah, yeah, brother. Uh, no, if you went to Instagram, it's just Birdsall official. So yeah, Bird Birdsall is Bird S A L L. By yeah, the way, official, for those official, yeah. yeah. And then the links right up top. If you can pre-save the song, and then if you just follow the Instagram, then like. Obviously, you'll see everything that's happening because that's like the main source Fuck of yeah. fucking Do you media. have it? Do you have the song on you? Yeah. So we can, we can put it on the end of this episode for the audio yeah, yeah. show. Yeah. And that'll be awesome. I had so the link too. We can probably just put the link on there. Can just great. Yeah, yeah. We'll put the link both, in yeah. the description for sure. Yeah. So what we'll do is uh, for the audio listeners, we will lead you out with uh, Birdsaw's new song, uh, Selfish. And then uh, we'll put the link in there of where you can pre-save it and buy it. Um, yeah, if you can't, meantime, if you don't see it in your podcast app, it'll be in the YouTube description or, or whatever else, or yep. you can find it on his social media as well. And in the meantime, check out his song Instagram page. You do the uh, Drinking Broettes theme song. Uh, not only are you, you one of the most talented people I know, but you're just a cool fucking dude. Um, I appreciate that. And we've been in all these different cities, so I'm grateful Dan, fucking Dan, was able to say, "Dude, he's in LA." Call him, he's in LA. I was like, great, let's get him. Let's get him on the show. Sick. Yeah. That so was wild when you called. I was like, what? Yeah, fuck yeah, I have nothing to do. I was like, we're here. Come well, on. I'm recording and I'm really busy, but fuck yeah, I'm going to come anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cyber stalker, so. Yeah, no, you're great at it. Like, well, no. yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not great at social media. He, he's pretty good at it. So uh, thanks for coming in, dude. We always love when you're here. Dude, appreciate it. You always it, have man. a standing awesome. invitation. Um, come, on, come on when Danny's on, too. Cause yeah, November, yeah. In, in November, that'd be then, great. Shit. If you're in there, we're doing a live election show November 3rd That'd in be Austin. Fun. Danny's-